What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. Welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Free channel, collective reading. Love you guys so much. Okay, so I wasn't going to do another one today unless I got a channeling, but I did. And I didn't know you could do this, but I looked it up and apparently you can. Okay, I heard driver's license, official report, and medical impairment is the three channelings I heard. Driver's license, medical report, and I meant official report, and medical impairment. So something to do with somebody's driver's license, an official report on their driver's license, or something of that nature, and medical impairment. So I looked up, can a driver's license be revoked for mental impairment? Um, once the DMV has received a report of a medical condition, DMV is um, Department of Motor Vehicles. Once the Department of Motor Vehicles has received a report of a medical condition that can make a driver unsafe, it can take action against the driver's license. Doctors who diagnose a medical condition that could be an impairment to their patient's ability to drive safely may report it to the state, DMV, or Department of Transportation. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So it sounds like the doctors need to, um, the doctors who diagnose it, um, report it. It sounds like the doctors who diagnose this medical condition that can make the driver unsafe, they, re them or their doctor's office or medical group or what have you, I, I don't know specifically who has to call and make the report. It says in here doctors, but it might be their assistant. It might be their nurse. I don't know, but it does say doctor. So I think the medical office has to do it is what I'm thinking. I'll read it one more time. I didn't know you could do this. I did not know you could do this. I, I mean, I've had a driver's license since I was uh, 17 years old, and I don't have any uh, mental health or medical conditions. So, but I didn't know you could do this. Once the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles, has received a report of a medical condition that can make a driver unsafe, it can take action against the driver's license. So, once the DMV re receives the report, they can take action against the driver's license. But, before all that, the doctors or doctor's group or medical clinic or what have you, what have you, the doctors who diagnose the medical condition that could be an impairment to their patient safety to drive safely may report it to the state DMV or Department of Transportation. So, I think a doctor is about to report a patient that one of their patients for unsafe um, for an unsafe medical condition that can make a driver unsafe. Is what I think, or a doctor's group, or a um, medical clinic or something of that nature. How that resonates and applies. Wow. It must be a very serious medical or mental health condition is what I'm thinking. Uh, wow. Like I said, um, I don't have any medical or mental health um, diagnoses for myself, but this is why somebody has got some kind of diagnosis that makes them unsafe on the road, basically. And they're basically about to get reported. They are about to get reported and they're about to be shot. Okay, I heard they're about to be reported and they're about to be shot. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, oh, here we go. What mental disorders can you not drive with? Here we go. What mental disorders can you not drive with? Some of the primary categories of mental health that will cause concern from the, from the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles, are dementia, Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, anxiety, depression, and or PTSD. So I'll read it one more time. Some of the primary categories of mental health that will cause concern for the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles, are dementia, Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, bipolar, anxiety, depression, and or PTSD. I'm going to leave it there. Driving with schizophrenia, a letter, I just opened this one up because it was underneath it. Um, I didn't hear anybody in here had schizophrenia, but they have some of these conditions. Whoever, maybe you're a doctor about to report this to the DMV or you're a doctor's office or a clinic. Um, 
How this resonates and applies. A letter from the treating doctor may be required stating the person is capable of driving safely if you're driving with schizophrenia. Oh, man. Okay. Love you guys. Namaste.